Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and tonight I'm gonna be showing you a quick and effective universal tutorial on how to install a ROM whether it's stock or custom on your Android platform. A quick note before we get into the tutorial is that Android smartphones do not have always the same flashing procedures but I'll try my best to implement those in this tutorial so you'll know what to do next. Another thing that you should take into consideration is that your warranty will be voided if you do any modifications to your device, so be aware of this fact. In this tutorial, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S4 in order to show you the main steps on how to successfully install a ROM on your Android device. So without further ado, let's get wicked. Ok, so the first thing you'll need to know is that nowadays most of the Android smartphones come with a locked bootloader and this is a very crucial step in order to get things working properly. Please make sure you check out XDA for your device to see if it comes bootlocked and what is the procedure for getting it unlocked because you'll need an unlocked bootloader in order to get to the next step in this tutorial. Also unlocking your bootloader will wipe your entire phone so be sure you back up all your data before doing that. You may require a PC with a working console and ADB drivers installed in order to get your bootloader unlocked. I placed a link in the description so you can access the forums about bootloader unlocking process faster so you make sure you check them out. After you are sure that your device has an unlocked bootloader, you'll need to install a custom recovery from where you can easily flash the ROM. I recommend Theme Win Recovery Project and I have a tutorial on how to install it on the card next to the video. However, it is specially made for Samsung devices, so in order to get it work on your device, you may need again a PC with a CMD co a console from where you can fast boot and install the TWRP image. Finally, after you successfully installed TWRP, you can easily install any ROM. I have to mention a quick tip, most of the ROMs that you're gonna be flashing are stock ROMs, ROMs based on stock firmware like Touchwiz based ROMs on Samsung, Sense user interface based ROMs on HTC etc. Or CM slash ASP ROMs, pure stock Android experience. I heard that CM is dead, Cyanogen mode is dead, so lineage operating system will continue the project. Or you may look out at uh, other ports like Ubuntu, which are not very stable and nobody really tries them out. So we will stick to those two main big categories, stock ROMs and CM slash ASP ROMs. Firstly, I'll show you how to install a stock ROM and then we'll get into the CM slash ASP ROMs. Stock ROMs or ROMs based on stock firmwares are usually pre-bloated with all the Google apps, system apps and often with useless carrier bloatware. The ROM is included in a zip file and this is the only file you need to flash into recovery. Here I'm gonna be flashing a stock ROM on my Galaxy S4. I always recommend making an Android backup in case you already have a ROM installed and you don't want to lose any data. You can restore it back into the recovery later. If you won't like the ROM you'll be installing right now. Making a wipe is usually a great idea to have a clean and fresh install so make sure you wipe your device by going into wipe section and swipe to factory reset. Back into recovery you'll need to click install and then select the ROM you downloaded and placed on your internal or external storage. Swipe to wipe and depending on your, ROM, your ROM's structure, you may or may not see a ROM installer, an automated script which will allow you to customize your installation. This ROM has got a straightforward installation so no ROM installer here. After you installed the ROM, all you need to do is to click reboot and your device will start up. Take in mind that the first boot will take a lot of time in most of the cases, so be patient. Boot it up, done. Now let's get into the installation of CM ROMs. 
CM ROMs often require, along with the main base of the ROM, another zip called GAPS, which includes most of the Google Apps, along with Google Play Store and Google Framework. I recommend downloading a package from OpenGAPS website. So again, the same procedures as on a stock ROM. Backup, wipe, and then click install and install the CM ROM. Afterwards, click back and install the GAPS package. This will take some time. Take in mind that not every CM slash ASP ROM is the same. Some of them may require other packages that you'll need to flash. Make sure you read the installation steps on the website from where you got the ROM. You will be finally ready to boot up your device running a CM slash ASP ROM now. Again, this process may take some time, so get yourself a coffee and wait for it to boot up. Done. So that was it for today guys, I hope I helped you on your way to install a custom ROM on your device. If I did, please make sure you smack that like button and share the video which, with whom may want to try out something new regarding the ROM flashing idea. And of course, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.